Hi everyone, welcome to Canvas Designs. My name is Uluwa Kemi from Lagos, Nigeria. Today's video, I'm going to be making um, a pattern that has been made before. I'm going to be making it as a real leather bag. So this is the pattern here. This is a two pattern here. I've done the video in my, you know, I've done it in um, part one. I've done the part one video before. So now I'm going to do the second step of the video. So um, the only difference is that I didn't cut this side, this uh, flap side, which I've done now and which I'm going to be doing in this bag. So uh, the material that will be used for today's bag is I'll be making use of this. Um, this is like a um, um, green. This is a green leather material. It's like army green. Army green leather material. It's a synthetic material, and this is um, this is black velvet here. I'm going to be making use of black velvet. Then I'll be making use of gold accessories. I'll be making use of this. This is just going to be like this. So I will hold it with a leather. I'll be holding this with a leather. Can you see it? So it's going to be like this. So I'll be making use of this um, gold accessories. The gold magnets. Can you see it? I'm making use of magnets. Magnets. So I'll be making use of gold bum bum stud. This is a bottom stud rather. It's a bottom um, stud. So I'll make use of this and I'll make use of this um, hose for the handle. It's going to be at the handle. Yeah. So I'll make use of cheaper. I'll make use of this cheaper. I'll make use of my fiber. This is my fiber. And I'll make use of this um, knife cutter with my scissors with the gum and you know the bag is going to be a sewing bag all through so i'll be sewing i'll be gumming and i'll be sewing so guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe to also press the notification button thank you guys this is our um this is our front bottom but bottom and the back this is it here so this is it here Don't forget this, this is a fiber we're making use of fiber for our work and uh, this is the flap this is it our flap but now we remove this we have our flap here shaped so we're going to use this pattern that is why your pattern is very very important very very important when you have your pattern your job will be very very easy so we we'll just use this pattern now to trace it and you know cut out the ones that we don't need and we also cut out the one that we're going to join because we'll be joining the flap together right so now i want to use my pattern to cut it out So make sure it's um, it's aligned with each other. So you just have to pull like this. Then you also cut this like this. Then this also like this. So guys this is it nice thing to do is to cut it out firstly you have to trim this out and you also have to trim this out Can you see it? Then you cut the side out too using your scissors. Make sure you follow the line. So 
so guys this is it so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to gum this place together that is after wrapping it with my leather so what i'm going to do basically what i'm going to do now is to wrap this with my leather then this is the leather here so i'm going to be wrapping this like this like this also this is the leather here this is the basically this is our flap so i'm going to be wrapping it with leather before i join them together so i'll be making use of my gum after wrapping it with my gum then i'll stitch it our, our flap so this one is going to be like this it's going to be like this so i'll be joining it together by sewing it can you see the flap this is the flap so now what we're going to do next is to remove this is to remove this and use it to sketch it out i'm going to remove this then sketch it out because i'll be using i'll be using um this is the outer I will also be using the leather for the inside. No paper, no fiber, no carry board, nothing, nothing. I'll just wrap it. So, So what I'm going to do next is to cut it. This is our flap here. What I just basically what I had to do to this is just to gum it together. This is it here. Then I I I use the gum, this gum to gum the two together then later what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew it right like this i'll sew it so this is the other flap so this is going to be the inner flap so basically what i did to this i didn't use any um there's no board nothing nothing i just had to um put my like i showed in the you know in the video i just had to put my my um my carry board which is this one i just have to put it on the material draw it out then you know take it away and fold the material only so this is it here i'm going to sew it round i'm going to be sewing it round now i'm going to be adding my velvet to this it's going to be at the down at the down parts so this is our flap our flap is ready but the only thing is i will have to put my magnet i will have to put um this magnet here this gold magnet i will have to attach it to this inner um to our inner leather so it's going to be like this sorry it's going to be like this this is how it's going to be so that's the next thing i'm i'm about to do now so this is our gusset this is the um the chipboard i'm going to fold it i'm going to um you know attach it this is the folded part i'm going to attach it to leather with uh, my velvet i'll be making use of velvet for the lining this is where our magnet is going to stay our magnet is going to be here and we're going to measure half inch here and half inch here same thing applicable to this place 
then you match it like this after matching it you're going to put your chuka So this is where your magnet is going to stay. Same thing with this. Just put your magnet here. This is your sugar here. Magnet here. So this is how it's going to be placed. You can see the magnets. It's going to be placed like this. So this is going to be the inner. This is going to be the outer. So we're going to sew it together. And we'll have this here. Our keyboard here. This is the um, leather that we're going to use. We're just going to place the sheet, the keyboard, like this. Can you see it? Then we we'll wrap it all together. So allow it dry a bit and then place it. We apply gum here and here. We've already folded this place. This is it here. So the next thing is we'll fold it, we'll fold it, and we'll fold this side. So I'm just uh, aligning it to get dry a bit before I fold it. So we're still coming in. Can you see the side? I have to wait for this to get dry. Can you see this place? This is our corset. This is how it's going to look like. So these are the S's, this one and this one, which I'm going to cut away when I'm you know sewing the bag. So this is the corset. Can you see it? So now we're going to wrap our velvet on it. We're going to wrap our velvet on this place. So now we're going to sketch out our gusset from um, our velvet. So 
So that is what we're doing right now. So you're using your pattern to trace it. I later um, changed the way my flap is going to look like. So this is how my flap is going to look like now. So I'll be sewing here like this, like this, like this. So this is the flap. And this one is going to be at this place. This is the gusset. These are gusset. I've not. Um, what I did was keyboard, leather, and this together. So I will still have to punch. I will still use my um, knife cutter here, where I'm going to put my long stripe. So now I want to work on this. I want to work on this, and this is our pocket here. Pocket is already bringing our shape. So I'm going to be wrapping this now. This is the body, the body, the front, the bottom, and the back. And this is the lighter. I'll cut out this and I'm going to cut the bottom separately because I'll be joining them together. Now I'm sewing the flap, the two um, flap together. So um, that is machine oil. So I'm applying machine oil to my leather so that um, it will be easy for it will be easy for me to um, so that the stitches will move smoothly. Um. 17.2 inches and this is 2 inches well this the holes that we'll be using is 12 inches so it will be placed like this and we just have to roll it so I've sold it I joined it together and I sold it here so I've sold it here so what I'm going to do now is I'll press I'll sew it like this this one together so this is the bottom this is the front this is the back so now I've applied gum waiting for some minutes then I'll just couple them together like how gum this to the um, leather so guys I've you know gum my leather to this place so what I'm doing now is you know gumming it together Drumming it together. Like this. So now I'm going to. So can you see? See the bag. So now we're going to put our bottom stud here, and also we're going to sew this one and this together, so that we can put our handle there and fix this here. This is the bottom side, and this is our stud. So. The measurement is one inch here by the side and by this side is um, half inch. So which means that the length is half inch and the width is one inch. So now I'm going to punch this place. I'm going to punch it and I'm going to insert my... I'm going to insert the bonbon stuff. The bottom stud, our bottom stud, so 
so we're fixing this is the pocket this is the pattern here I explained all this pattern on my um, previous um, previous um, video which is the step one so this is the pocket here so our pocket is going to be here and I'm going to sew it round covered with velvet of the pocket guys this is the pocket this is our flap so I'm going to put this here and sew so the measurement is one and a half I just applied a little bit gum here so that um, my flap can be can be in a straight line now we're sewing the flap This is our undo it has been fixed so what i just did is you know i roll it together and i punch hole i put this inside the hole and um i just have to glue it i had to glue it here glue the uh, remaining hand here mm. so can you see it okay so what i did was i used this i you know, I place it on the material and I use my armor to punch the hole. You know, after punching the hole, then I fix the hand. I'm going to be making um, a video very soon on how to fix this hand so you can learn more about the handle. It's very, very easy and simple. So, the next thing is uh, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to be you know fixing this here and I'm going to um, work this is the lining um, like um, what is it called now this is a oh my god this is a velvet so I'll be using it to line this place so I'll be fixing my um, my zip and all that to it the inside pocket so that is what i'll be doing then after that then i'll be i'll have to fix the my gusset which is just to the back this is um our velvet and this is um lining and we have our zip here so our um, zip is going to stay on top of the lining. I'm going to be sewing them together and I'll be attaching it here. So the measurement for this is two and a half. The measurement is two and a half. Then the width, I measured seven. Why the width of this is uh, seven and a half? The width of this is seven and a half and the length is um, is 11 and a half so I'm going to fold it together like this and then use my zip on it so you fold this together like this and you same thing fold it this is going to be like uh, inner pockets
again. Fold it and so same thing here, fold. So I'm going to cut this away, the SSZ, so this is it here, can you see it? So now the next thing we're going to do is to stitch here, stitch here. So now I've um, put a line to, um, I've drawn, I've, I use my nail cutter to, you know, make a line to actually cut it. I use my nail cutter, to, uh, my knife cutter to cut it. And now here I have to fold that. Then here too, I'm going to fold it. We're still working on the uh, zip aspect, the zip area. So now I'll, this is it, I'll fold it and this now, this is our zip. Can you see it? This is our zip, so it's, it's going to stay like this. It's going to be like this. So then I'll stitch it round. So this is the zip aspect. This 
So that is our flap. You can see that is the flap. The flap is already um, the flap. We've done the flap. So now, um, what we want to do right now is um, we we'll have to put gum on the flap, which is the outer flap, and also gum on our inner flap. We we'll have to gum it together before um, we stitch it. Reason is because we want. Um, our stitches to be neat and straight so we need to gum it first so that um, it can come out nice so while applying the gum you need to be careful so that um, your gum doesn't come out of where it's supposed to be so you leave it for some time for the gum to dry before you gum it. That is our um, inner pores. It has been attached to the lining. Now we are we are sewing our flap with the back um, with the back bag. We're sewing the our flap together with it. Now we are about stitching, um, we are stitching the flap together, stitching it together, you need to be careful, make sure that your stitches are straight. And while stitching it, always um, use your um, machine oil so that your stitches will be neat. So can you see everything has been stitched? Um, that is our corset, so I'm trying to um, stitch it. You know the corsets we have um, our we have our leather, keyboard and um, velvet together. So uh, we want to apply our magnet to the down part. So you just have to trace the um, where it's going to fit in and then punch the hole. Can you see that um, our bag is already, um, you know, our bag is beautiful, right? Now we're already, you know, punching the holes where um, a magnet is going to fit in. So after putting that, uh, we'll put, um, we're going to put a cover at the um, inside, then we're going to use our armor to eat it. So that our magnet doesn't pull up. So um, we've done that. Now. Uh, we're just bringing our back together to see if um, the magnet is going to hold it or not. Can you see it? That um, it is the magnet is at the right position. So remaining the gusset. Um, so that is our velvet, the inner part. You know, it carries um, the front, the bottom, and the back. So, what we're going to do now is to apply our gum. Make sure that where your pocket is going to be, you're not going to apply your gum there. You just apply the gum all over. When you apply your gum, then you lay your um, velvet on it. But guys, you need to make sure that your gum actually dry off. You leave it for some seconds before you apply your before you you know put your velvet 
now this is our long stripe that is our long stripe um our long stripe um measurement is um 40 by 2 2 inches so you just have to stitch it on both sides so um this is our gusset here now we're going to take measurements the measurement is one and a half so after doing that you just have to use your cotton knife to take it straight like this this is our long stripe our long stripe here so you just put it here fix it here so can you see it so now we're going to pierce here pierce it out like this pierce very well then what you do is this is a rivet here a rivet you have to put it like this So this is the rivet cover, you just have to put it here like this and what you do is you heat it with your hammer. So I'm stitching um, the half inch and I'm going to take it away by using my scissors to cut um, the half inch away. If you can still remember our gusset measurement. So can you see our bag? Um, right now we're going to stitch or um, our we're going to stitch the gusset. And now we're stitching um, the gusset of our bag so when you're doing that you need to apply your uh, machine oil and you need to be careful So this is the um, bag guys. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to uh, press the notification button to get notified whenever I drop a new video. Thank you guys and God bless.